Hi folks, this is Bill Sheldon. I'm a Christmas designer and my area of expertise is in gift wrapping. And who doesn't want to impress? Everybody wants to give a great gift and I'm going to show them how to impress their friends and how to make it green as well. Today green is, is everything. I'm talking about green as far as wrap it once and don't do it again. These boxes become keeper gifts. These boxes are used as decorations for year after year. I make it in a style so that you can open the package and never ruin the gift wrap. Well, in a few minutes in the video, we'll get back into uh, green. How you can use your old jeans over, how you can use your old shirts over, and wrap a gift in a fashion that the boxes can be opened and reused again. Some of the great things that I do, I think, are the fact that the boxes are just as beautiful on the inside as they are on the outside. So a lot of people in my family like to get my gifts, not just for what's inside, but for the box itself. In wrapping memorable gifts, the things that you want to remember is a package being beautiful on the outside is just one facet of it. How would you like to give a gift where everybody in the room goes wow when they see the inside? And the best part about it, you notice I just opened that gift without ruining it. In theming a gift, we showed you this kind of concept here. Also, boxes become decorations in the house. They're used year after year on the, uh, under the tree or as a home decoration. And you make a box like this, totally lined in velvet. You put a beautiful piece of jewelry in there. I guarantee you she's going to put this on the dresser. It's going to be there for a long time to come. Other boxes like this can be gold leafed. We can show you how to do that. And again, you make it so it looks like it's perfectly wrapped, but it comes open and the inside is padded. You put a piece of jewelry, a favorite little figurine, and this becomes another keeper box, or even more importantly, a new word for us today, regiftable. This box can be given to your aunt, and your aunt's going to give it to her sister, and back around. You may see it come around a few times in the family over the many years. I want to give you a few more examples of what I was talking about on the insides of the boxes, where they just talk about dress to impress and being regiftable. Here's another example of the inside of a box. Who would not want to get that? And they're going to show it to everybody, and hopefully they'd like to get they, they get inside. Another example of that would be, I'm going to show you a few boxes quickly, just to give you an idea of how you can theme your gifts, and maybe Dad will get everything this year in the leopard paper, Mom will get everything in the red paper, and maybe your daughter will get everything in the fruit paper. And again, everything is matching on the inside. These are the techniques that I would love to show you in a TV segment for your audience to look at and learn all these wonderful techniques. In gift wrapping, going green is possible. And those are the things we're all thinking about today. Going green could be using natural fiber papers that have real flower petals in them. These boxes also open the same way. The insides are just as beautiful. Here, I simply went outside, actual berries from the holly tree and junipers, which have been dyed to say green. I don't want them to brown out. But you can do these things yourself. Natural pine cones, put them in your microwave for a couple seconds, heat them up to get them open, or put them in the oven. This time of year, you pull them off of trees, put them in your oven for a little while, they open up beautifully. You can glitter them, do anything you want to them. A little, little snow paint adds a very nice touch to them. Talking green again, look at the old denim. All cut up in strips to make ribbon. This is the seam down the side of the leg. The pocket, the pocket used for the gift card. There's a flower on here, but then look at the inside. By the way, this is one of my old linen shirts. I shrunk it, doesn't fit, so I cut it up. Why not? Better than throwing it out. And again, the top comes off. The inside is uh, pretty cool. It has a snap from the top. And this is also the linen inside acts as the wrapper around the gift, the sweater, the shirt, or whatever you're giving to your special friend or family. Over here is another gift the same way, using uh, natural greens and ribbons that are made from natural fibers, uh, real baby's breath, a cardinal with real feathers on it, and again, another gift that may be put under the tree year after year, or be regifted, and you might get it back with a gift in yourself. Wouldn't that be nice? You and your sister trade back and forth forever. The techniques that I'm showing you today, and talking about going green and recycling, and using gifts over and over again, use them for decorations, use them for recycling. 
uh, and regifting as they call it. These boxes here for children can be used in, in birthdays, anniversaries, and weddings, and all the different themes that come up for the family. Even in the small children's box, the little teddy bear and the bow. Now don't forget, in order to regift these, one of the best techniques you can use, or one of the best products, is ribbon with wire in it. If you crush it, you simply wire it or push it back up again. You don't have to worry about it losing its shape. It has wire in it, it will keep that shape. If it doesn't, you can easily put it back into shape before you regift it. The boxes, again, for children can be done the same way inside, so they're really cute. This one here has the uh, little snowman on it, a little bow, with a little ice on it. Over here with the children's, I, I put it aside for you to show you the inside with the matching tissue to the uh, gift wrap paper. We're talking about a real theme here. And this opens up, a little Velcro on it, and it's regiftable. You can use it over and over again. And on the everyday theme, a birthday, this looks like something for a, a beautiful lady, a nice young lady, and you have a nice gift inside. And again, it opens up whatever you put inside. She's going to absolutely love the box as well as she loves your gift, and she may end up giving it back to you for your next birthday. In showing you all the techniques of how I do these things and make a beautiful package and a great presentation to impress, I, I do the gift cards to match. As you can see, I like theming things making beautiful bows that can be used forever and ever because of the wired ribbons that's inside, the color coordinating, show you how to size the paper, cut the paper, the supplies needed to do the job, the different glues and tapes that I like to use, and of course the tools that you need to achieve your goal of making a gift that is very memorable, a keeper gift, and of course regiftable. I hope you've enjoyed my CD. I think we can have a fun, exciting segment for your program in teaching your audience all the techniques, as simple as can be, to make a wonderful, impressionable gift that will last for many years to come.